Hi everyone, this is Firan and welcome to Study Windows. And today we are going to learn transparent, translucent and opaque objects. Let us consider some different objects. So what are the differences between all these three? To understand the differences between all these objects, we have to know first how light travels and how light interacts with objects. Let us take an example. We'll have one candle and we'll take one hollow pipe and we'll try to see the light through the pipe. So what is happening here? We will be able to see the light because light rays is coming from candle to our eyes. So it is coming in that way and we are able to see. So light is traveling a straight path. But what if we paint the pipe? Are you able to see? No, we will not be able to see because light comes from the candle and it will be obstructed here. So it will not be reaching in our eyes. So we can say light rays coming from the candle and it is coming to our eyes and it is just straight line. So we can say easily light travels along a straight line. How light interacts with objects. Let us consider some objects like mirror or football or glass. And light comes from the source interact differently with different matters. Light is coming from the source and falling on the mirror and it is reflected. So this is reflection. And for the football, it is falling on the football and football is absorbing all the rays. So no light rays is coming from the football. So entire light rays is absorbed by the football. So it is absorption. And for the glass, light is passing through the glass. There is no reflection. It is simply passing through. So it is transmission. In simple diagram, we will try to understand this reflection, absorption and transmission. For the reflection, you see the light is coming from the source and falling on this object and bounces off or reflected. So it is called reflection. And this object, it absorbs all the light coming from the source. So it is absorption. And for the third case, light is passing through this object this object is helping light to pass through completely so this is known as transmission so reflection once again this light is coming from a torch that is the source and reflected so we see our image in the mirror because of reflection see light rays is falling on the mirror and it is coming to our eyes but we see that light is coming from the mirror so image is formed And for absorption, this light is absorbed by this object. So it is absorption. And transmission, the light is passing through this object. It is transmission. Type of objects based on interaction with lights. Number one, this is a glass and light is passing through the glass. When the light passes through the object, transmission happens and it is known transparent object. And second one, this is the plastic. This is an object where all light will not pass through. Some light will be absorbed and some will be reflected. So absorption and reflection happens here. So this is known translucent object. And the third object, here light is falling but it will not pass through. It may be absorbed or it may be reflected. So this object is known as opaque object. So transparent object means light will pass through completely, translucent object light will pass through partially and opaque object light will not pass through. Detail understanding Transparent objects See the example, someone is watching outside and this is the glass. She is able to see everything outside. Why she is able to see? Because light is coming from outside to her eyes. So that's why she is able to see outside. So glass allow light to pass through. 
characteristics light can pass through allows us to see clearly objects on the other side and shadow shadow formation since we know that shadow is formed only when light is obstructed but here light is passed through so there will not be any shadow formation here example glass lens clear plastics diamond clear cellophane water there is a clear water and here translucent objects so we have seen that this is an apple and some portion of apple we are able to see clearly and some portion we are not able to see clearly so this is the object light passed through partially so we are not able to see the clear apple so this object is known as translucent object characteristics light can pass through partially allow us to see objects on the other side partially and a very faint shadow we can see because light is obstructed partially so because of that only a faint shadow is formed example frosted glass thin fabrics tracing paper tinted glass colored plastics plastics and clouds opaque objects this is a can and light is falling on this can and some portion is absorbed and some portion is reflected so no light will pass through this object so this is known as opaque object characteristics no light pass through we have already learned it may be reflected or absorbed we cannot see anything through this objects and shadow since the light will be obstructed completely dark shadow will be formed examples mirror apple brick cup stone can look at this example for better understanding there is an object in the first object all light passes through so we are able to see this zidaf this object is known as transparent object and second one some light passed through so we are able to see partially the giraffe so this object is known as translucent object and third one no light will pass through we will not be able to see anything so this is known as opaque object so differences transparent object translucent object and opaque object transparent objects these objects allow light to pass through translucent object these objects allow light to pass through partially and opaque objects these objects not allow light to pass through here one can see clearly through these objects here one can see objects partially and opaque objects one cannot see through these objects do not cast shadow because they do not block light and translucent objects do cast faint shadow because they block light slightly opaque objects cast dark shadow because they block light completely example for transparent object glass lens translucent object tissue tinted glass and opaque objects and woods bricks we will see one practical example so look at this video here you are able to see this pillar is the opaque object but this is the glass you can see outside so it is transparent object and this one is see this down portion you are not able to see the chair clearly so this is translucent object right if you like study windows like share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon check it out our next video thank you so much for watching our videos please subscribe our channel for latest updates